Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I wanted to recreate this image here that I've had saved in my kind of ideas folder for a while. I saw this online one day and I saved it because I thought it looked really interesting, but today I kind of realized a cool way to recreate it, and it goes along with all of the type of glitch art effects that I've been making. So it typically works well with pictures with clouds in them and skies like this, but you could use this glitch distortion effect on any photo of your own. So with your photo open, the first thing you want to do is actually duplicate your layer. So right click and duplicate on it. So you have a clean copy to work on right above. And I'm going to minimize that for now or hide it. And let's work back on our original layer now that we have that extra copy. Now to begin, you want to go to image, image rotation, and rotate the canvas 90 degrees clockwise. So you want to flip it on its side and pay attention to which direction the photo is orientated. So up to down. Now you want to go to filter, stylize, and select wind. Now you see the reason we flipped the photo on its side is that the wind filter is only available from left to right. And this way we can kind of make it look like it's going up and down. So you want to select the stagger method and I like the effect looking like the pixels are going up just from the inspiration I took from that original image. So I select from the left but I suppose you could do from the right if you want. Now press OK and you should see a little stagger effect to start to happen. Now here's where it's totally up to your preference on how much you kind of want to destroy your image. And a quick way to do this without going to filter style as wind every time is if you just go to filter, wind will be the last one on there, and they'll even give you a shortcut on the Mac, it's Command F, to just repeat the same exact filter you just did. So I like to just smash Command F on my keyboard maybe 10 times or 15 or 20 times even, and when you have photos of clouds, you see it starts to create this cool little ridge when you have clouds, and this parts like these are what I think really looks cool. But sometimes you have a main focus of your image, like the clock, that kind of gets destroyed in the process when sometimes you don't want it to. So let's flip our image back over. I'll show you how to take care of that. So if you go to image, image rotation, this time let's rotate it the other way, so counterclockwise, and we have our glitched up effect. If you want to add some of that 3D glitch color, you can also go to the channels menu, select just the red channel, and apply that wind filter one more time and then re-show all of the channels and you should get that glitchy 3D effect and you can apply that when it's not rotated or rotated it doesn't really matter but that gives you some of that color channel separation if you want to take it there and now let's re-show our original clean copy so here's the original clean copy and let's say we wanted this to be a little bit more legible. So I'll show this, I'll click my copy, and I'll go to Layer, Layer Mask, Hide All. Now if I just grab my brush tool, and I grab a soft round brush, so a brush with 0% hardness, and just large enough to paint in the area I want, and I paint solid white onto my layer mask, it'll start to show the original image, rather than the old one. And when you're working with pictures of skies and stuff like that, it's pretty easy to not need an exact cutout. However, if you feel like you need an exact cutout, you can do that with a quick selection or pen tool and mask that rather than use the soft brush and paint method. So there's what I'm gonna call my final image. Here's a couple other examples if you guys wanted to see of different variations of this that I tried out before I made this tutorial. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it and learned a few things. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, definitely check out the Photoshop playlist on my channel for more Photoshop tutorials and subscribe to stay tuned for future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.